Hi, my name is Scott Lawrence, and I'm going to show you the second tutorial now, which is how to take your two streams of video and convert them to be field sequential using the Vuzix plugin. Okay, so here we have um, our tutorial where we left off from the previous um, tutorial. So you can see here, there's the left and there's the right. Um, so they line up nice here. Okay, so now what we need to do is after you've downloaded and installed the, uh, the Vuzix plugin according to the directions, you'll restart Final Cut Pro and you should see it right here, Vuzix. This is in your uh, effects tab in your browser. Um, so here you have the 3D encoder. Um, I'll show you later what Scooter does. Um, what you basically have to do is take the 3D encoder and apply it to just the left channel. Don't have to apply it to both. In fact, you don't want to. Okay, so now it is applied, but you don't see any effects of it. If we were to double click on the left channel here, you will see this panel come up. Don't need that anymore. Okay, so here we have the controls for the Vuzix 3D plugin. Fields here will determine which field you're actually looking at. If you're looking at this clip is in field 0 or in field 1. These are often called the uh, odd and even fields. Um, encoding here turns on and off the, uh, the watermark for enabling your 3D content to be used with the AV230. Um, Eyewear. I'll just leave it off for now. Um, so here we have it. You notice here that the two fields are interlaced with each other. And you can swap them left, right. Um, from here you can set the convergence, which is how far apart they appear from each other. If you look down here, you can actually see how they converge. Uh, field shift will move it up and down to do fine tweaks of the, the vertical. Um, you're going to want to have your, your your content aligned vertically as much as possible to reduce eye strain. Um, these are for the watermark, and anaglyph is for doing red-blue anaglyphs, which um, doesn't quite work very well yet, so just ignore that for now. Okay, so we have this clip in field zero, um, and that actually is all you have to worry about. One thing to note here, though, is that uh, you can actually step forward and backward here, and you really need to make sure that your your content lines up with each other. If you here, I will demonstrate what it looks like if your fields are your frames are off by a little bit. As there's motion, you can see how they they separate from each other. And uh, I'm sure you can understand how that uh, would look really painful to watch. Um, and that's basically it for using the plugin.